Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to show how to set up a new domain in Office 365. From the admin portal, you'll go to the left and click Domains. Now to give you a little background, by default when you create a new email address in Office 365, it defaults to company name dot on Microsoft dot com. So if I want to change the text that follows the at sign in my email address, what I need to do is set up a new domain and prove that I own it. So to add a new domain, you'll click Add Domain, and a wizard will step you through the next steps. You'll click Let's Get Started, and here you'll type in a domain you already own. So I want my email addresses to look like this to match my website, AskTheNinja.com. Then you'll select Next. Then you're given the option to sign into GoDaddy, which in my case is the Internet Domain Registrar. We also have the option to choose a TXT record to verify that I own this domain. I'm going to select that. And from here, Office 365 provides information that I need to type into my GoDaddy account. So I'll copy this right now. Now I'm in GoDaddy, and I want to select the DNS zone file so I can upload the information that the Office 365 portal has provided me. I'll click Add Record. From here, I'll select TXT. And here are the values that Office 365 has provided for me. Once I've populated all the fields, I'll select Finish. And be sure to remember to click Save. So now that we've entered in our information on our domain host, we'll go back to Office 365 and select OK, I've added the record. So Office 365 has now verified that I own the domain AskTheNinja.com. We'll select Next for the next step. In this case, I want to update the James William contact here to reflect this ID. I'll click the box and select Update Selected Users. I'm given confirmation that one user was updated successfully. Now I'll click Next. I don't need to add any more users, so I'm going to select Skip this step. From here, we'll select Next to complete step three of setting up the domain. So to answer this question, I don't have an existing website or prefer to manage my own DNS records, so I'm going to select No. I'm going to leave all three of these boxes checked because I want these services to be provided in Outlook, Skype for Business, and Mobile Device Management for Office 365. From here, I'm going to select Add Records, and I'm prompted to log into my GoDaddy account. Once I've logged in, I'm prompted to accept Office 365's request to make changes to my domain. And now I've completed all three steps to adding a new domain in Office 365. Once I select Finish, I'm brought back to my home page of domains within the Admin Center. And I see that AskTheNinja.com has set up complete. Thanks for joining us today. For more tips and tricks like this, visit 365Ninja.com.